What's up, nerds? <laughs> I am so excited, I'm not gonna freaking lie. I look forward to this video like a lot because I think about it a lot and like I'm I get excited. But anyway, today um we'll be doing my May reading wrap up and my June TBR. Now I am ugh, I know I I hate it. I feel like I hate it more than you guys hate it <laughs> um, because no one has like complained or anything and it's just funny. I just get so annoyed about it. I'm like, Marissa, because I don't have the books currently with me that I want to read um, for June. I like have to purchase them <laughs> and it's hard to because I pre-film, like I film um, the Saturday before I upload basically. Like I film all my videos, my makeup videos, everything on the Saturday and Sunday before um, the week just because I can't get around to filming through the week. It's not my full-time job. I obviously work. Um, anyway, so I have to film a little bit in advance so I don't like always place or I'll buy some books like <laughs> a week ago but they ended up being for my other TBR, whatever it is, whatever the case may be. I, um, <laughs> whatever the reasoning is, I end up not having the books for when I film this video or I'll, like, the pay period, like, when I'm getting my paycheck, it'll always be, like, the front, it's just complicated. So, anyway, I don't always have the books with me and I'm sorry, I will try to do better because it frustrates me. I want to see the books in my hands so you guys know, like, I'm reading them. But for the most part, this was probably the, let me, I have to check because I think this is probably the closest I got to re reading my monthly TBR. And the only reason why I didn't read one was not because I couldn't. It was just because um, I didn't, I didn't want to read it. I'll explain when I get there. I feel like most of them I've read. Yeah, I skipped to that one month. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I think this is the closest I've got to a TBR. So anyway, if you guys did not see my, did I say let's just get started? Well, anyway, we're going to just get started. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I post like my TBRs all over there. I'm obsessed. Um, but I've been using a specific like um, it's at Mindscape in Words. I've been using their like TBR format um, just because it's the easiest. But for the month of <laughs> June, I believe their format is like 10. I could only find the 10 book one and I'm like, oh my gosh. But honestly, I was supposed to be read more than six books this month. I did not get around to doing that because it was honestly because of vacation. Like, I'm not going to lie. I really only read like a little bit on vacation and I should have just read a little bit more. Anyway, um, let me just make sure. Yeah, the June tablet is nine books long. Oh my gosh, but I should read that anyway. So anyway, let's get started with the May TBR. May reading wrap up. So the first book I wanted to read in May was actually Love to Loathe You from Allie Hazelwood. I loved this book so much. So if you guys don't know, it's three books in one. It's like three different um short stories in one but it is so cute and the kicker is that all three girls are best friends and so it just makes it all the better because they are like you know there's hot like you get updates on everyone's relationship through the other characters and I love that like you don't feel like sorry I got water on myself but you don't feel like the story just dies <laughs> where it starts you know what I mean like I just I'm obsessed first of all this packaging is like this cover is so cute I really like this cover and Allie Hazelwood I, Allie Hazelwood I love her books um she likes to write her books in um women in stem basically and I actually like that because I don't get a lot like not very many books do that and so I obviously don't have any experience in that either so I feel like it's unique in that sense um and I just the characters are always so much fun you love them um you you just feel what they feel and I think she's a great writer is she my number one favorite author no I have some that I like better just because they add a little bit more um depth to like their stories but hers are really really nice and if I just want something like if I just want to love a story I'll probably read her book um there's another one that I want to read eventually too from her there are plenty of other ones that I want to read from her I want to have all of her books so that's saying a lot <laughs> I finished that one and I'm obsessed um I don't know if I read this next did I read this next no I actually skipped my next book but I moved down <laughs> to the it doesn't matter which order I read them in really but um I always place them on my TBR in order I think I'm going to read them in, 
but I never ends up happening that way. But I, I this was on my TBR either way. Um, I had ended up just ditching and skip and reading the uh, Sun and Star from Rick Ray Orden. Um, it's a Nico D'Angelo adventure. I just told my friend. So me and this coworker I have, she only works during the summer, so I didn't get to see her all year. And then when I saw her, I was like, girl, did you see what Rick Ray Orden released? She's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's a new book. It's for Nico. And she's like, what? He needs a whole series. And I'm like, I don't know if this is a series or what, but there's only one. He's, Rick Ray Orton is also coming out with another Percy Jackson series and I could die because the reason why I could die is because Percy's now in college like when this book is happening so obviously his next book is going to be him in college which makes him a little bit older which makes it a little bit more fun for me <laughs> because that's why I felt like this book was really good. I thought this was, I honestly... I honestly had, like, it, reading this book, I was like, this is kind of giving me Frodo Sam adventure kind of vibe because it's just Nico and, um, uh, and Will that go on in this adventure and, um, down to Tartar Tartarus, I can't even say it, Tartarus, whatever, down to the, like, the worst part of the underworld, um, that, you know, you're never supposed to go, well, all these things that are just so scared, but the way they, like, they express the strain, I just kept picturing, like, the... Um, Frodo and Sam like walking to the mountain you know what I mean like so so interesting and um I thought the journey was great the characters um are funny they have like their humor I love Nico I just am not obsessed and I feel like there's something that I feel like it was missing number one number two I just felt like like it wasn't as fulfilling as it was when I read like the Percy Jacksons and I don't think it has anything to do with the book more so just my age compared to their age <laughs> because they're kids you know what I mean so it was just a little bit different but I really enjoyed this book and I'm glad that I read it I probably won't read it again just because it's like whatever um unless I read the entire Percy Jackson series again which like you know is always on the um tip of my tongue <laughs> which is always the thought I hate like faces on on covers I, I think I've always told you that. I, like I did not picture them like this at all but anyway um so good I read that Okay, and then I also read, the next book that I read was the, um, Abby Jimin is yours truly. I, 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 you would have thought I read this first because I wanted this book so bad. I just kind of put it off, put it off, put it off, and I, uh, this book is so good. I'm trying to get, I was just trying to get a refresher real quick. This book, I really died. I just, she never stops surprising me, and that's why I, she's my favorite, like, one of my favorite authors for sure. Um, I, she never stops amazing me, surprising me, um, uh, exciting me, making me want to read her next book. I'm like, girl, if I had to wait for this to release, that means the next book is really far off. <laughs> and like, that was so heartbreaking. I'm like, ah. And then when I see her name though, on other people's books where like, they'll give the comments, I'm like, okay, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that means I'm going to like this book. <laughs> um, anyway, this, she's just like, um, the, it's so unique. In the beginning, I was like, no way. Cause in the beginning, it makes it seem like it's going to be, they hate each other, they need each other, they use each other to, like, be a fake girlfriend, boyfriend, and then they, um, uh, end up falling in love and loving each other, and I was like, come on, I've read that story, like, multiple times recently, and I enjoyed those other books that I read, like, it's not a bad storyline, it's just, like, okay, I did not want to, I didn't expect that from my, uh, Abby Juminez, basically, um, if that was what it was, so then it kind of was, like, at first I was like, ugh, but then it starts to get better, and then, like, the girl, like, right in the few, first few chapters, she's like, crap, he does not deserve me to be mean to him, <laughs> and so then she starts to, um, realized like oh my gosh wait I like him da 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 I was very happy about that <laughs> um so uh, she sorry that he's actually a good person that's what she was trying to find out like he ends up doing something for her and like just all that whatever it was great so then they do pretend to like fake date for a little bit but of course everyone's telling them like oh no like you guys are meant to be blah blah blah, blah. so of course that's cliche and all that but I loved it I thought it was great I love the characters I wanted to meet these characters in person um I really like this too if you guys and my, I can, like, I love Abby Jimenez right now. Like, my brain is like, psh. So I love, of course, I love books that when the characters are related. Um, and obviously, like, the Ali Hazelwood one is amazing because the characters are obviously, real, all uh, like, best friends. But um, this is all written in one story. The thing with Abby Jimenez is, so her first three books that she released, all the characters um, were, the two of them were, like, cousin, whatever. They all ended up meeting in the third book. This one, <laughs> in this one, so she released one other book after the first three. So there's one book and then this book. Those two characters from those to the second two books um are best friends the two girls are best friends and so you got a little update on the last book in this one it is just perfection you're just obsessed I love it and I do I feel like it's like an extended epilogue if you will because you get like a little bit of 
Oh my gosh, this is what I needed to hear about this couple that you just like were invested in for a whole book. <laughs> I needed the update, you know? So I thought that was freaking phenomenal. I just, I love it. I could read this one again. But don't even get me started because I thought this month could not get any better. I literally wrote this. Again, if you guys don't follow my Instagram, definitely follow my Instagram because I put all my deets like out right after I read it. So um, it's not for me like having to remember. It's fresh in my mind when I'm writing that, mostly for the most part. <laughs> anyway, this book, I thought I couldn't get any better. This book. <sighs> this is Emily Henry Book Lovers. You guys know Emily Henry for me <laughs> was in hot water. <laughs> and it was just because the last book I read from her. It just was just weird. It just wasn't like super, super exciting. It was like, honestly, like it felt like a chore to finish that book because the every other chapter, the, the, uh, the, every other chapter went back in time, like a to 10 years ago. It was like 10 years ago, then present, then nine years ago, present. It was so annoying. I hated it. Honestly, I'm like, if I read that, I said this too. If I read that again, I would probably just skip all the back flashbacks because you, you need the flashbacks for the plot. And I understand that, but I'm like, there could have been a, there has to have been a better way from it because there are plenty of other books that you need like background, but they're, they don't just freaking um go back in time and like tell you the you know what I mean anyway so she was in hot water and I was like this book done it better do it for me and this book dumb done dumb <laughs> done came to play like this book was not joking around it was so good um I literally sobbed I literally cried with this book because you feel every single emotion the characters feel and I just I'm like Emily Henry you go Glen Coco he done did it for me <laughs> because the um you the you are happy with the characters you're sad with the characters you just love because this book it's like it, you think that this book is gonna be like very cliche very like oh my gosh it starts off talking about you know other cliche stories like coming for other cliche stories and you're like why are you talking about that and she's like well yeah I'm the villain and I'm like what not really I'm the villain but she's like I'm the 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 one who um you. Uh, I'll just tell you. <laughs> so she just says like, um, you know those stories where like this is the, this is all in her writing. You know these stories, those stories where like the um, girl and guy are together and they live in the city and then they go visit like a small town for a little bit and then they end up you know falling in love with someone there, ditching their old ways and like becoming you know new and reformed and like hillbilly you know and like uh, country and all that stuff. And she's like, yeah, well I'm the one that they leave for the. <laughs> percent and so like that's the theme of her life is that people are always leaving her for like the country and this this new life and she's like what the heck is wrong with me she lives in New York she loves New York her mom passed away and just she just loves the just being feeling like she's near to her mom then her sister is like yo let's go like have a vacation let's go feel the town whatever so they take a sister vacation in like a small little town um where you know everyone like you know <laughs> there's horses and pigs and chickens and all that stuff and so she's just like um, what the heck and her sister's just trying to get her to basically love the town. There's a reason again I cried a lot because I was like, oh my gosh And it was not even because of the couples because of the sisters um, but What I like about this book is that it's not like the focus is of course the boy and the girl the relationship But it's not the main focus. It's the um, the girl the sisters has a good really the most of the conflict 90% of the conflict is between the sisters and I like that because I'm like then I get the closure of like my the relationship and I'm like I love the relationship between the um girl and the boy and you got to love it and you get to enjoy it and they kind of just kind of say like we can try whatever we want but like we know where it's gonna end let's not think about that but so then, then you get like just cute couple moments they're just like yeah, I love them and then at the end she has to go back and then she does leave them and um she leaves him and so you're like, what the freak? And then you, obviously they end happily ever after. But I just, I really think this is a great like twist on a basic story. And I think that on like a basic romance story, I think they did, she did this super, super well. Where again, you don't feel like it's, no, like it's, there's so many different moving parts that it's just such a beautiful story. I don't know how else to explain it. If you have not reading it, please read it. It is, if you have not read it, please read it. It's so good. Um, mine freaking got, I was so freaking pissed. I got um, sesame chicken sauce on it yeah you can smell it it's so depressing but the book was really good and I read it even though there was freaking sesame sauce on it <laughs> oh my gosh 10 out of 10 I would re definitely read that again like I'm like I'm surprised I have not read it again already <laughs> all right and then the last book that was on my TBR that I read was the rise of nine from Pitticus lore I at first I was like oh I'm not gonna want to read this series but then I started it and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh 
listen, Pitticus Lord, this guy, man, he really done, um, 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 he really outdid him, not outdid himself, he really put in the work for this book, not gonna lie. This book is written in three different perspectives, if you will, point of views. Um, so they, he, where his downfall is for me and having three different point of views, because that's really risky, first of all, um, because that's, it's really hard to follow, but, how do I explain it? But he changed, the, the downfall of it is just he ch only changes the point of view by changing the font. And it doesn't even say, like, the chapter doesn't even say, like, you know, whose perspective it is. It literally just changes font. So, like, here's, it's going to be so hard to tell you, like, to show you. It's, like, here's one person's. Here's another person's. It's, like, a little bit darker, a little bit bigger. And then this is, like, is this the same person's? And then here's the other person's. I'm like, you can't even tell it that much of a difference. Like you can, you catch on once you start reading the chapter, but it's like, what the heck? So the reason why he did it is because, so the, what annoyed me at first is that it was um, one perspective and he was doing his own thing. And then there was another, the other two perspectives were in the same spot, the same place at the same time. So it's like, that's kind of dead giveaway that they're going to get separated. So then you needed all three perspectives. Um, but I was, I, I did play me a little bit. I was like, oh, maybe they won't get separated, but they did. And so I was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> well, that makes sense because then you had all three different different um, scenes and stuff and different, they would do all three do, doing different things, if you will. So anyway, um, I, he really did, I, I really want to, I am excited to read the next few books. I am very excited for the way this ended too. I don't even know if I want to spoil it for you guys because I don't know if anyone's going to read it. I'm so mad that they did not make these movies because this is good stuff. Um, again, it's so hard because there's so many characters that I can see why they didn't do it. But this one honestly is, is the best one out of the first few that I've read. And I'm very excited to see what the rest of the series is like. Although this is only number three out of... Um, freaking number three out of, <laughs> um, seven. Like, oh my gosh, like, I cannot wait to see what else is next. Okay, and then last, the book that I read that was not on my TBR, I read Terms and Conditions from Lauren Asher. This is the second book. I read the first one, um, last month, and I honestly didn't love the first book as much as I really like this one. I really like this one. I had heard that most people like the second two more than the first one, and I was like, ah, like, most people just say that and whatever, and usually I'm a sucker for a good, like, first book, but not gonna lie, I wasn't gonna continue the series because of that first book, but then I read this one, and I'm like, now I need to read the third one. <laughs> so, like, this, this one is better and the set third one I already started it spoiler alert but um I honestly am liking these two more than I like the first one I also did read along the first one with fable which I don't particularly like doing because it kind of breaks up the book a little bit so I might have to reread it I don't know if I will though because I really didn't it wasn't like obsessed I was obsessed with this book honestly like it was so good it's a big chunky book and I read it in like two days um because I was just obsessed it's so unique and like of course it's a love story so they have to kind of get unique and creative at this point <laughs> obviously but the main guy like he has to I told you guys in the last one um all three books are three different brothers so they're all you get again you get a little bit of closure from the first book and then in the third book you get a little bit of closure from the first and the second book like it's really it's really cool <laughs> but um the uh they all have to complete three different tasks so that they can get their inheritance inheritance from their grandfather um and so they have to complete three different tasks which are like crazy tasks like the first one uh whatever so anyway this one he has to become ceo basically and get married and have a baby like what the heck so apparently he's just a total douchebag and no one like he doesn't really date that much anyway and so it's like a complete like everyone's like dang we're gonna fail because of you buddy <laughs> and then um so they have to find someone who is willing to marry him only for the contract they have to be married for three years so only marry him just speak to, for the contract and they have to find someone who's gonna have a baby with him so someone vol volunteers <laughs> to be his wife and then they back out so then someone else has to step in and become his wife become his wife whatever and just there's so much like drama and thing I think this author is a really is a pretty good author I think there were she like why this isn't like so like I feel like it's almost like a missed mark like, like this is this this is the bar here's where this book lies I just think the the guy they she tries to write these characters as the first two books the guys sort of like they're mean they hate everyone the, the only soft spot, spot soft spot they have is for the girl that they're with and that's what um the goal is but they're just mean mean like it's like unacceptable like if I was this girl like she looks like 
in both these books, the girls look a little bit like, um, uh, what is the word for it? They look a little bit like, like, they're taking, like, that kind of, they're just, like, like, uh, <laughs> letting it happen because they are mean, mean. Like, of course they try to, like, make it up or whatever, but, like, for me, like, the way you'd have to make it up is way more than what you did for her <laughs> because he said, like, crazy stuff and he apologized, but, like, then, whatever, she ran away, whatever, and then he, like, he did do a lot for her. He bought her her dog, then he bought her a house, then he bought her a new ring and all this stuff and it was really sweet and he really does love her. Like, I know he loves her, just if I was her, the way he expressed it would have not been enough for me. And I don't know why, I don't know. But I feel like that in both books. And I'm like, ugh. This is, I think it's just a character flaw. Like, obviously you need them to be mean and rude. But they need to also be sorry. Like, feel sorry. And for me, again, like, you read, obviously, his thoughts and stuff. But she, he doesn't necessarily tell her exactly what we get to saw. And so, was, again, if I was her, no. <laughs> So I only read six books this month. Again, I was trying to read more, but I couldn't do it. The one book that I did not read um, that I probably, I am not going to put it on next month's TBR because I don't think I'll read it is The Chemist from Stephanie Meyer. You guys know I was super, super excited about this. I was even like, I posted on my store. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. The first chapter though, the first thing, I just, it totally turned me off. And it turned me, it honestly it genuinely turned me off. I couldn't even finish the first page. It said, um, chapter one, uh, it says they're coming for her she's ready for them first of all um today's errand had become routine for the woman who is currently calling herself chris taylor i'm like so, what and then so after this daily chore chris had gotten into her unremarkable instead of i so i'm like oh no 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 she walked closer to him Fuck, whatever do whatever um and i'm just like oh no it's in third person the woman looks exactly like a for Jesus for sure. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. I don't know if I can do that. I'm not in the, not right now. Not right now. So it sounded interesting. The back sounded interesting. Um, just the cover. I love Stephanie Meyer, but I was like, no, no. And then I'm like, why is she calling herself Chris? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to know. I don't think I want to know yet. So we'll see. So that's why I didn't end up reading that. But so for this month, the first book that I want to read is obviously I'm already reading it. Um, but I want to definitely finish the final offer again from Lauren, uh, Lauren Asher. This one actually is starting off to be a little bit better than the first few, not gonna lie. This character, the main, the guy, um, this, this brother, isn't as jerky as the first, first two. two um like brothers are just mean jerky little butt cracks this one is um not like that he's a lot more like playful he laughs whatever so that's what i so far this one's a little bit better i'm not even halfway through yet though this is a massive book like i thought the first two were massive like this one is massive -er. it's huge i'm like what the heck um but i'm very excited to read this again it's the third brother so you kind of i feel like it just will finish the um whole story this one's cool too because the guy the this brother um the girl that he's like with is his like they were best friends in the childhood in their childhood so the other two character brothers um their girls were kind of like they had different relationships with them but for the most part they were they weren't as sentimental and as cute as this one you know what i mean so um definitely like uh, super super like exciting to start reading it because you're like oh my gosh you were best friends in high school like they dated they had a past and then now his grandfather before he can get his inheritance is asking him um to basically reconnect with her in 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 uh, in a in a certain way <laughs> you know, when you read it you'll find out if you've read it before again um then you know what i'm saying but I'm very excited. I want to just keep reading. I could this morning. I like woke up at like eight. I'm like I'm so tired. I'm like oh, I can read. <laughs> and so I was like okay, I'll read. <laughs> so definitely want to finish that. That'll be the first book um, next month. But you guys, obviously, I'll finish it next month. So I'll count it towards next month. I also bought this book just because I was placing an order, and I was like, oh, let me just add this on. This is Jen McKinley. Um, I have read one of her other. It's called. It's in here actually because I don't know how many books she has. I always. It's hard to determine um, like how what books an author like i don't know what is what they want you to read basically oh it's not on here i definitely saw it somewhere i don't know but there's one other um book that I, the one other book i read from her i remember actually really liking but i just never bought anything else from her so this is called paris is always a good idea and so i was like oh let's try it <laughs> so i want to read this one of course paris all the roman stuff is 
Paris, you know? So I'm excited to read it. Um, I haven't read really, I, I don't think I read the back or anything like that. I feel like it's just going to be an easy, it's really small. It's comparatively super small. <laughs> so I feel like it'll just be easy read. And I'm excited to test, kind of give this author, to test her against all my other, the authors I've been obsessed with, Emily Henry, Allie Hazelwood, and Abby Jimenez for the most part. Um, so I'm excited to kind of read that one. Um, what the heck was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. But, oh, I was saying that there's some, like, if I go on, like, an author's website, they have, like, books, like, so even, I think Allie Hayeswood or Emily Henry, one of them has, like, books, like, they'll, all the covers look similar. They're not the same cover, but they're, like, similar. And then there's, like, some other books that are, like, just, like, look completely different. And I'm like, are those, like, your, I don't know what those are. I'm like, are those your books or what? Anyway, those are the only two I have. So I'm like, two out of ten. Oh, my gosh, I gotta buy so many books. But I definitely want to... Um, purchase the fall of five so the next book in the um uh uh, 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 uh I am number four series um I can't decide if I want to buy four and five and read them both next month but I think I'm just gonna get um number four we'll see um and then I definitely want to read I saw this in store and this was the temporary wife uh by Katharina um Mora I saw this in store again so kind of like it's on my Amazon so I was like oh I kind of was like oh yeah I think I need to buy that I'll just show you because I won't be able to insert pictures. But here is the Fall of Five. Book number four. <laughs> and then here is the tempo Temporary Wife. And this is like, I don't know, it just sounds interesting. It sounds like something I would like. Um, and then I definitely will pick up and read. So this comes out May 30th. Um, so by the time you're seeing this, I'm sure it came out. But again, by the time of filming, it's not out yet. This is Cherished by Tracy Wolf. So again, I have to wait. That's another hard thing about filming like so early is that I have to wait until things come out. Whatever, if it comes out later in the month. But um, this is Cherished by Tracy Wolf. You guys know I've read the whole series up until this book. So I'm excited to kind of finish, give myself some closure, finish that. So that's only five freaking books out of ten. Oh my gosh. We'll kind of see what I end up actually reading. But I really want to read this book really, really bad. It's just 18 freaking dollars. So I'm like, maybe I can find it somewhere for cheaper. It's called Dear Aaron by Marina Zapata. Zapata? Um, but it's about, it's just this girl who falls in love with a man by writing him letters to the military. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to read that. I want to know what's happening. Um, this one I also will read next month, but I also will get next month and probably read next month. Um, this is uh, Ali Hazelwood, Love Theoretically. Um, again, it's just the, <laughs> so freaking cute. Um, but this one doesn't come out until June 13th. So I have to wait until that one releases, um, before I can read that one. And then, um, Ab... Emily Henry's Happy Place also is out, um, just came out right now, so I want to read that one just because I, I think I want to read it. I haven't even read the back of that one, but I feel like book lovers really sold me, so now I'm just going to take the risk and read that one, and then we'll see if she stays, um, if I stay obsessed with her. Okay, those are the books I know for sure I will read next month. That's only eight books, um, but I will see. I, I only need to read nine. That was it. Okay, not ten. So maybe I'll get another one of the, um, Pitticus Lore books, the I Am Number Four books, and just do that. Count that as number. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to obviously spend as little money as possible on books, but it's really hard when I want so many freaking books. And then I'm also trying to, um, uh, uh, uh read so many books. Like, I need to read a lot of books this month because I want to finish 100 books, but at the re I'm only at, like, 30-something right now. I'm like, we're halfway through the year. I need to be at 50 something and that's a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to try to like pick it up, but ugh, we'll see. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I'm sorry that it was, I was talking for so long, but I just wanted to tell you all the juicy tea. Anyway, let me know if you have any recommendations that I should read this month. I have a few books that I like, I could start. I just don't want to start a new series until I finish the I'm number four series. So I want to read A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, and then there are some other books that obviously don't release until, like, later in the year. Some are, like, some books are more, um, uh, uh, what is the word? Winter books. So there's, like, a day in December. Like, I don't want to read that right now. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I have so many options. But I'll let you know. Obviously, you guys will be the first to know. Again, if you don't follow my Instagram, definitely stay tuned. Uh, follow my Instagram so you guys can see what, um, books I end up putting on my TBR. Okay. <laughs> now that's it. Bye, nerds!